Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel in our new series here on UMRV. This is our beef cattle operation. Um, and I figured today we could do or start the series by doing a little uh, farm and equipment tour. So we'll start here at the house. At our house here, we got our garage and our uh, little work truck, pickup truck. It's a Ford F-250. Got the toolbox in the back and the plow mount in the front for plowing snow in the winter. Uh, thinking about throwing a fuel tank in the back at some point possibly and taking that uh, toolbox out. But that's a future project. So uh, let's continue on and we'll circle around to the big cold storage shed here but we have our uh, little utility vehicle here the xuv by john deere our local dealership is a deer dealer so we do have a few pieces of deer equipment uh, we're not full deer but uh maybe to some of your relief as <laughs> you know i'm a big deer guy and i like to run my deer equipment so a few of our series here we've uh had quite a bit of deer equipment, but uh, I couldn't completely leave it out. But so we'll start in this uh, first shop here. Why is why are we not opening? That's weird. So I guess we'll start with what's right in front of us. Uh, we have our two. Uh, Meyer forage boxes here uh, just back end dump as we as you'll see once we go head down to the uh, cattle area we don't have any staves or anything like that so we just run bunker silo systems mostly we run we just feed with bales but we do do a little bit of feed out of a bunker so there's that we have two of those, and then we can move on to our tether here, Vermeer tether. It's a R2800 by Vermeer. Uh, this Iowa is, or er, Vermeer is an Iowa-based company, so uh, I figured it be good to run a few pieces of Vermeer here. I know I run this in my other series, but it's just a good American tether. So next up, we have our. Uh, John Deere 560M silage special um, baler here, round baler with the uh, silage additive tank there. So we do, are going to be wrapping a lot of bales and things like that, doing a lot of baling mostly just because we are running Mace Plus and the plan is to have a good amount of cattle. I originally thought I wanted to do a thousand head of cattle. As this is a feedlot, but we'll see. Uh, maybe we'll make that a goal to get up to that point. But that's a lot to do <laughs> as one one man. So uh, we'll see. But here's our mower here. It's an SP185C by Challenger. As you'll see, we are running some Challenger equipment. Mostly Challenger equipment. So uh, we have ourselves that Challenger mower there. Head out this door. Maybe. There we go. Come around, and this is our bin set up here. We have a corn dryer here. Because we do do a lot of corn here in Iowa. We have three bins. So, we're going to have our corn in this bin here. We can have beans and maybe a grain crop over in that other bin. So. Yeah, this is our bin setup. We'll head over here into this next shed we have, and this is our Challenger 7 MT765C. This is our main tractor that we put a lot of hours into. So uh, we like our tracks here on the farm. And just reduces compaction. We have these uh, extra tanks put in there. Uh, those are nice because they are just low profile uh, 
fertilizer tanks so not getting in the way much or anything and we'll hop in fire up so in this tractor we do have our GPS monitor as well as some planting monitors and a sprayer box there uh, they are Kinsey monitors because we are running a 24 row Kinsey planter we'll hop out and look at that So, we got a fertilizer tank here, liquid fertilizer tank there, and then our bulk seed tanks there. So, that is our main workhorse tractor. So, on this farm we do have quite a bit of a leased equipment, and that Kinsey is actually a leased planter, so... We only gave ourselves about $2 million to buy all of our equipment, so we had to, and fields, so $2 million for equipment and fields, and on a map this size, and the fields that are pretty good size, it's, you need big equipment, so we couldn't afford to buy everything straight up, so we'll be uh, challenged with how to manage our money with the amount of leased equipment and fields that we have here, so. We'll start here with our Mandeco roller. This is for rolling in our beans. We are running the mod that doesn't make you roll every crop, so I think we'll only have to roll our beans. This is our Landall 33 foot disc. Has a mulching function on the back. So that's kind of nice. And as well as this deer uh, chisel plow with the wheels that don't stop moving <laughs> for some reason that's such a weird thing but yeah deer chisel plow this also has a f uh, mulching function on the back so we will be able to mulch our ground without actually using a mulcher which is nice so have our fuel tank here on the back side of the big cold storage and this is going to be our big cold storage shed with the uh, big hydraulic doors on each end. So uh, we'll start on the left side here with our combine. This is a Challenger 680B. This is one that I am working on getting out to you guys eventually. So uh, this thing does need some retexturing, uh, retexture. UDIM, the uh, feeder house, and the PTO shaft at least. I'd like to do the interior uh, ceiling there. That would be nice, but the interior is pretty nice as it is. Uh, maybe some new rims, but yeah, it's a cool combine. It's part of a pack that has a the rotary pack that uh, has a gleaner and a Massey as well in it. So all three of those will be coming out to you guys eventually. Uh, we'll move on here to our J&M 1051 grain cart. This is a nice grain cart. Uh, hoping to have some links in the description of the mods that I have, or I might just post it in my Discord, create a new channel for mods that I use in my series. Um... Because I do get a lot of questions about where I get certain equipment. So it would be nice to just be able to direct you to a certain place and <laughs> answer it that way. So uh, here's our seed drill for planting our beans and grains. So this is an N542C. I don't know why that was so difficult to get out. Um, it's a 12 meter air drill pretty much so we'll move on to this side we have our best way sprayer good american sprayer i use it on a lot of my series i know but it's a just probably one of the better trailed sprayers would have been nice to actually have a self-propelled sprayer but um, with the money that we have we i figured this was the best option and it has a good width on it so uh, maybe that's something we can look forward to upgrading in the future Next up, we have our Challenger MT-555D. 
So it runs about 180 horsepower on this with the front loader and the MDS gravel bucket there. So this is going to be our main, like, hay in tractor, you know, like the dirty work tractor type of thing. Uh, probably won't be out in the field a lot with it, if at all, but baler, um, loading bales, all that kind of stuff. So uh, here we have our old white 2 155 series 3 here this, uh, runs about 170 horsepower this is the oldest tractor we have on the farm so we have pretty new equipment but it's nice to kind of have one of the old the old girls here still so this is going to be running our wind rower and you know probably just doing mostly hay and equipment I think we are going to pull one of those Meyer boxes with this as well for when we chop. So here we have our uh, big dog here, uh, our tillage tractor. Uh, probably run grain cart on it too, possibly. And uh, this is an MT855B. It runs about 360, or no, 400, 450 horse, I think, is what it is. So. Uh, that's going to be doing our chisel plowing and all of our tillage mostly so this is the big dog on the farm so I'll be digging up digging up dirt with this one uh, next up we have our Gehringhoff 12 row corn head this is a leased piece because it runs about 180,000 I think just for the head so and then we have our Mac Don this is one that I released uh, yesterday as of recording this video so uh, there is an update on it already that has the correct width for the 35 foot version and the uh, in a lower price for the 35 foot version so this is the 40 foot uh, fully color selectable and everything so got the challenger colors there with that Mac on move over here we have our Chevy grain truck this is mostly for hauling commodities for our feeds, like from town, from the feed store, like beet pulp and uh, brewer's grain and things like that. So that will be running that. We got our biggest semi here is our Peterbilt 379. Runs about 550 horsepower on that one. And then we have our other Pete, it's a smaller one, only about 400 horsepower on this one, I believe. Uh, this truck I like because it's uh, pretty much the same configuration that uh, of one of the trucks that I drive on the farm that I work on. So, with the white body and the green fenders and stuff like that. So, it's pretty cool. I like having that around. We have our Mauer uh, grain trailer here, single hopper. So this one, this Pete doesn't have enough horsepower, I think, to haul a double hopper. So this one is just a solo hopper there. So we'll move over here. We got our John Deere chopper, or 583, or 55830. I can't talk this morning. So with a uh, six row cord head on it. Older unit there that we got from Deere. It's just sitting in the say a lot i thought that would be a good pickup for us we don't need anything huge because like i said most of our feed is from silage bales so that'll do the job for us uh, here we have our anderson bale loader round bale loader when i was doing this series i figured that it would be good to maybe avoid picking up the bales by hand as much as we can because it is probably the most time consuming thing that i do uh, when playing farm sims, so um, it just takes a while. So I figured for time purposes, it would be cool to use this one, as I haven't actually used any of those yet. So in FS22, then our last thing here at this farm is the double hopper, sixty foot, fifty foot, fifty or sixty foot. I can't remember. Fifty foot, I think. Uh, Timpty super hopper here. So. That will be pulled by the peat during harvest season. Oh, that is it for this farm. 
we can hop in the little side by side here head down to the cattle farm so as of let's address the elephant in the room here <laughs> um, I'm sure most of you are like what the heck is going on so this is a very similar video to the video that as of today recent um, I just released an equipment tour for a farm yesterday on the same map on UMRV and I just wasn't vibing with the farm so I figure for longevity reasons for the series I think it's better for me to actually enjoy the, the you know enjoy what I'm playing on and I just wasn't feeling that farm, so I'm not gonna lie. It just it didn't feel right, and I once I started getting into it, I just didn't enjoy it. So uh, it's yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. So I think that we're gonna be doing this one. Last night I just spent some time building a new farm, and I don't know. I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying this one a lot more, and I think I will enjoy this one a lot more. It feels more authentic to me. So, um, so there are some things that have changed here on this farm. If you guys are familiar with this farm, the base game farm, there's a pig sty right there where this, uh, feedlot, uh, pen thing is right there, but we'll address that when we get over there. So this is the, uh, cattle barn pasture that is here already. Uh, one thing that I have changed is that this used to be a slurry pit here. I took that out because I don't think that's, I mean, it's a pasture, so there's not going to be a slurry there. So I did take that out. Um, I took the milk tanks out, so this barn does not produce milk either because we're not a milking farm here. So, yeah, so this is our pasture here for a set of cows. We'll come around here to this side, and we have our Sooner trailer. Uh, holds about 20 head, and we can transport them around, which is nice. Like that trailer, uh, and then we have our pick rate, uh, beater or horizontal beater, vertical beater, <laughs> not horizontal, vertical beater, uh, pick rate here. So manure spreader. So we are going to be dealing with a whole lot of manure. So. So, so here is the actual add-on that I made for the feedlot. So this is the first gate that you have to open. There's another gate there to get into the pasture there to feed in the bale ring. This barn here is by Western Iowa, I believe, and it's his feedlot building. Cow trigger, or cow loading trigger is there. And then these extra, uh, these big feedlot pens here are from lazy e modding so through here is where we'll kind of have some bale wrap tubes or whatever i actually need to get a bale wrapper i forgot to get that so uh well through here we'll be storing some extra bales where we have space um feed bunks or whatever you want to call it trough trough yeah probably the better name here all the way down, there's three of these big old, big old uh, pens here for cows. So, plus that one and the open pasture. So we have five total places for cows. So this is kind of our feed area. We'll come back to this as we come down in here. This whole thing is gated off um, because it is a feed lot. So it's kind of nice where you can just. If you're in a feedlot, it's nice where you can just open the gates if you need to move some cows from pen to pen type of thing, and you don't have to worry about them getting out. So through this gate is our grass pasture, one of our grass pastures here, and then you can come around. There's another gate over on the other side there that you can get out. So in here we have our bale, one of our bale barns. We have two bale barns here because we are going to be doing a lot of bales. We have our bunk tires here for when we cover our bunk up. We have two bunks here that are Maze Plus compatible. 
not huge bunks, but they'll do the job for our corn silage. Here is our other tractor. It is a Fent 2 or 7 4. Let's start over. <laughs> it's a Fent 724 Vario. So it is US spec. This is by BSL Modding in their Patreon. Uh, I figured we needed a pusher tractor. So here it is with the uh, blade on it. This will also be doing some uh, other work as well around the farm. So. We have our peat feed truck. You've seen this if you watch the other equipment tour video. So this is our Peterbilt feed truck for feeding these cows. Holds a nice capacity, so we shouldn't have to make too many trips. And this is our feed mixing area. So there's a few commodity storage areas here. Load them into this feed mixer, and it goes up into this big boy hopper bottom bin here. This one holds the TMR mix, so we'll just pull our truck under that fill it. This one is for mineral feed I believe and I think this one's just for pig food so we won't be using that one. But yeah it's pretty cool. I haven't used this yet. I've been wanting to. There's a molasses fill point on the other side and a um, mineral feed point here where we can buy some mineral feed in and put it there and it will automatically add it to the mixer. So that's pretty cool. And then we have our big payloader here. It's a 544K John Deere. It's a leased piece as well. So that is it for the farm. We'll take you up in the drone here so you can kind of see what it looks like from above. Pasture ground here for haying right behind old mom and dad's house. They built there when we bought or when we took over the farm. So feed area. Two bunks here, our pens, and our pasture area, and then the farm is over there. So that is the farm, everybody. I appreciate you guys for watching. Sorry for the confusion and the uh, indecision, I guess, on my part for this series, but I think this one's going to be better and it's going to be longer lasting because I am enjoying it more. So maybe I rushed into the other one a bit too much, but. That's all right. Mistakes are made and we get by. So thank you guys for watching again. And uh, of course, as always, I'll see you in the next video.